Uh, hello, this is uh, Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. I just wanted to make a short video because uh, I haven't done anything uh, for a wee while. Uh, my last video, uh, which was on the Diamond Princess and featured the doctor from Kobe, Japan, um, after a week was taken down and uh, very um, conspicuously I was told uh, that, in fact, every time I went onto Facebook, it, it, it brought a message saying, did you know this? And then when I went, every time I went on to um, uh, YouTube for several days, that's, that's what I got. And the implication was uh, that it was taken down because it was clickbait. I made a, a statement unlike what I usually do. I, I try and keep the titles pretty bland. But the title was about the referred to the Japanese doctor. And of course, the content um, related directly to that and featured a, um, uh, a video sequence from him. So how could it possibly be uh, clickbait? Uh, so I've decided to uh, give up um, trying to make those sort of videos. Uh, it's partially the censorship, but it's also uh, my own health and the effort uh, that goes into making these videos. Um, and it's just not worthwhile doing it. If they're going to be taken down, I'm going to risk losing my channel. So I've decided, uh, well, I've been putting a few uh, short videos that I thought were relevant, you know, things that I come across on, say, on Twitter, which I can't share in any way. I've been uh, posting those onto, um, uh, onto Vimeo. Uh, and I've also tried brighton.com, which seems, I mean, you know, a very good place to park these things because they don't really have any censorship. But uh, the, the times so I've, I've only been able to manage very, very short videos. And one time I did a an hour long video, and I tried to um, post it on to Brighty, and and I just left the computer going all night. And I came back the next morning, and it, it still hadn't uploaded. So uh, sadly because uh, I, 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 I sort of quite like it. Um, I've had to sort of give up on that and um, opted for Vimeo, which was an absolute disaster for me last year because I had a good, excellent uh, collection of videos there and I lost every day, single one of them. Uh, I don't know whether it was my account was hacked or whether the Vimeo themselves did it. And um, yeah, so I've I, I've gone back because that's the only one that sort of functions for me really. Uh, so I just wanted to talk briefly uh, about my own health, and that might explain why I'm doing uh, far less um, than I was even a month ago. Um, yeah, last year I went to the neurologist and they made this uh, diagnosis, experimental diagnosis, I suppose, of uh, Parkinsonism. Uh, and then they, uh, they, um, they prescribed this medication. It's a version of levodopa, uh, which I decided not to take uh, when I read up what the found out that the actual some of the side effects were the various things that just hound me from day to day those are my major symptoms uh but then i was persuaded um to take it by someone who came around from the parkinson's disease experimentally and almost immediately i was, was on it for five or six days and my partner pam just noticed that i just just went into a hole straight away and it was um, it was uh, 
progressive. So I went off that, and uh, even though I wasn't in a great shape before that, I still haven't gone back to anywhere near where I was before. So whatever damage that drug has done um, seems to be uh, permanent. So in the meantime, uh, just before Christmas, I decided to have some hair sample uh, tests for uh, aluminum and other um, heavy metals. And finally, it took five weeks. I know it was over Christmas when everything closes down. It took me five weeks to get the, the results. Uh, but when I did, it showed high levels of mercury. Um, and I went to see the, um, the, uh, uh, the uh, naturopath, who's also a, a, pharm a, a pharmacist. Um, and she suggested some stuff, some uh, blood tests. It was for liver function, which have always come back as being slightly elevated, so nothing, nothing to worry about. And then also something called homocysteine, which is in the liver. Um, and I had to go back to my doctor get, to get referrals because we can get them done in this country for free if you've got a referral. He tested me. Uh, he, he referred me for the um, uh, the tests um, for the liver function, but he refused to uh, to refer me for homocysteine tests. And as I suspected at the time, uh, when the results came finally came back, um, both lots of results were highly significant. Um, interpreted by someone who's competent. Um, and the homocysteine uh, results uh, were perhaps the most significant because um, that came back as elevated and well outside the normal uh, kind of uh, the, the normal levels. And I since found out homocysteine is um, implicated in a lot of things like um, renal failure, uh, risk of stroke, uh, and, uh, and fatty liver, which I've always known that the liver was the locus of my problems, but I've been studiously ignored at every step of the way uh, by the, the broader medical profession. Uh, so this was elevated. So I've had the first in in nine years uh, this is the first kind of meaningful results and interpretation I've had from anybody and I'm on stuff to help my uh, liver and I'm just waiting for some other herbs to arrive which will hopefully bring down the uh, the novocysteine levels so that's sort of hopeful. I don't really have any hope that it's going to cure me because this has been going on for nine years. And um, I think I'm left with uh, probably considerable uh, neurological damage um, that is not going to come right. But who's complaining? If I can get a fifth, a 10% improvement, um, then that will make me more or less functional again for doing what I want to do. Uh, so that's sort of where I'm at. Um, I'm doing stuff as my energy allows me quite actively on my blog. So I do suggest that you, uh, if you don't know about it and you're not already, that you check up there because uh, I think I've got some sources that are bringing some of the best information. My role, of course, I think was to bring all of this out in the very early days when everyone was saying um, uh, that it was sort of fake news and nothing to worry about. And of course, now um, anyone who can think is not saying that anymore. They can see it's deadly serious. and. Uh, all that's left are the deeply ignorant and the deeply stupid um, who are sticking to the old uh, 
the old narrative. So uh, that's uh, me uh, from Seymour Rock. So I suggest you go and have a look at my uh, Vimeo channel and also at my blog. And I'll put the, um, the links for that um, in the description box below.